put down is this. Now, I insist that in this very, 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 very serious situation, we've got to be listening to organizations like the Ghana Medical Association. What did the Ghana Medical Association tell us? They wanted two measures. One, complete lockdown, not partial, mm, plus random mass testing. Now, how can we do random mass testing? When government has told us that all the test equipment they have ordered is 50,000. Last week, I was so very happy when I heard that Ayawasu West Municipality was going to do random mass testing. Of course, later it was denied. But when it was first announced, I was so happy. I said, we are beginning to do something. Then it struck me that the test kits we have ordered total is 50,000. Ayawasu West will go and consume all. No, even if it's here, a Yawasu West municipality will consume what? What happens to the rest of the country? You know, these are the things that we should be talking about. We should be running away from the useless propaganda. These are the issues we should be talking about. This is how to help the government. This is how to help the government. Raise the government's attention to this. Look, last week, I raised the issue about the mobilization of water tankers to supply water to needy communities. And we have the water tankers. Mujib, you know we have the water tankers. Police service, they have water tankers. Military, they have water tankers. Prison service, water tankers. Fire service, water tankers. Individuals even have water tankers. Water eh? And the, the president powers. If those emergency powers cannot be used to mobilize water tankers, what are they for? What are they for? I still haven't seen communities without water being served by water tankers. And I raised this issue more than a week ago. And perhaps I'm not the only person raising this issue. Water tankers. Why didn't it strike the committee that communities without water can be provided with water just by mobilizing water tankers? This one too, it'd be difficult. So I can't understand what is happening. You see, a lot of people get the impression that there's some very serious action. It's very easy to get that impression. <clears throat> When you drive out of your house and you see soldiers and policemen wearing masks, carrying guns, erecting barriers, and th there's not enough traffic on the road and so on, it gives you the illusion, and it's an illusion, that something very serious is happening. You understand? But Massa, it is not the policemen on the street with their face masks and so on, who can fight against COVID-19? It's not enough. It's not enough. You need to do other things to be able to fight against the spread of the virus. Now, we know some things about the virus, but there's a lot more that we don't know about the virus. Nobody knows enough about the virus. World Health Organization itself gives a directive in the morning, by evening the directive has changed. They came and told us that we, only those who have been affected and frontline health workers should be wearing face masks. The next day they come and tell us that everybody should wear face masks and so on. So even World Health Organization itself is having a challenge, legitimate challenge, you understand? Because we don't know enough about this virus. That is legitimate. And if mistakes are made on the basis of the lack of sufficient knowledge of the virus and its nature and so on, I can understand that. But not basic, basic, basic errors like the ones that I'm seeing. It worries me. It should worry every Ghanaian. You understand? And especially 
What should worry us most is the disinformation. What did Ofoswan Pofu say yesterday? Did Ofoswan Pofu praise the government for an excellent job done? Did he? And if he didn't, why are we being told that Ofoswan Pofu praised the government for an excellent job done? In any case, <laughs> if Ofoswan Pofu goes to the flag house and praises the government or the president, so what? Ofoswan Pofu is not God. Ofoswan Pofu is not God. He is not all knowing and all doing. Ofoswan Pofu is like all of us. And for various reasons, many reasons, he can go and be praising government. So what? So, Master, I think we should take this matter a lot more seriously. Look, the president sets up a fund, huh? a fund, to receive funds for the fight against COVID-19. The legal framework for setting up the, 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 the fund has not gone to parliament for approval. So, in effect, there's no fund. And yet the chairman of the board of the fund and members of the fund are appointed. What kind of coconancy thing is that? You appoint the chairman of a board and members of a board which does not exist, which has no legal existence. Masa, it has no legal existence, so it doesn't exist in no day. And yet, you're appointing its chairman and appointing its members. You know, Master, I'll tell you something. When I come and sit here and I do this, I do it with a lot of pain. I'm telling you, I do it with a lot of pain. I have many, 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 many friends in government. People that I'm very close with who are in government and so on. And I feel, I feel bad when they call me and say, but why are you doing this to us? You know, somebody called me the other day and said, but I thought we were friends and so on. <laughs> ah, that you, I was just having a conversation with you uh, one hour ago and you are sitting on television and you are hammering me and so on. It is not out of pleasure. I feel a lot of pain right now as I'm sitting here. You know, I mean, I met Dr. Asari the advisor to the president on fighting COVID. He's a nice man. We had a brilliant conversation. You know, I enjoyed this conversation and so on. Here am I pointing holes into the arguments he's making and so on. You think it's pleasure? It's not pleasure. But it's a duty which is imposed on us. A duty which is imposed on us first because we are in the public space. Master, how many Ghanaians have the opportunity to sit on a table like this and to express themselves? That's a privilege. And when we have that privilege, we are enjoined to be honest in the things that we say. That is why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this because I hate anybody. I don't hate anybody. I'm not doing this because I have a grudge with anybody. I'm not doing this because I want CPP to come to power. I'm doing this because that is our charge. I'm doing this because that is how I was trained. I was trained as a journalist. Trained by some other. You understand? So I have no option. The fact of the matter is that things are not going well. Things can be done better. Why? The president is my friend. I like everybody knows that. In fact, the president himself announces that. That is my friend. Now he's wondering why I don't call him. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> you understand? So I'm not here because I'm against the president or I want his government to collapse. I'm here because I want the proper things to be done. That we should win this war against COVID 19. Look. Thousands of people can die if you don't manage the situation well. Thousands of people can die. So, should we dwell on our friendships and so on and allow thousands of people to die? Or we should speak the truth to save thousands of people from death? That is the challenge we have. We have a huge challenge. I feel a headache. 
Master, I have a headache sitting there. You know, and some of the things simply don't make sense. Look, this whole this whole this this whole thing about superstition and so on. It should not be promoted by national leaders. Do you know why? Because even if you read the scriptures, any scripture you read, go and read the Holy Quran. Go and read the Bible. Go and read the Old Testament which 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 which, which the Jews hang on to. They don't believe in the in the New Testament and so on. Go and read the Torah and so on. Why? All of them agree and on the existence of an all-powerful God, alright? A God that is present everywhere. A God that is in every space. A God that is all-knowing and so on. All of them agree also that God does not come down on earth and start injecting sick people with, 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 with penicillin. God has never done that. God has never come, assume the and be injecting people with penicillin and so on. It has never happened. Not in history. I don't know any. You understand? They all agree that the manifestations of God, and those are not my beliefs. You understand? I have my own beliefs. Those are not my beliefs. But they all agree that God manifests through other forms of creation. So if you have COVID-19 uh, and you have a Ghana Medical Association giving you advice, why don't you accept that as a manifestation of God in dealing with COVID-19? Those people who constitute the membership of, of the GMA, were they not created by God? So if you are praying to God and fasting to God to come and help you solve the disease, listen to the GMA. That's a manifestation of God's works. Why? Professor Benu Akosa, was he created by the devil? Professor Akosa, Benu Akosa, was he created by the devil? Not the same God. So, Professor Benu Akosa is here and you are still running to God. After he has given you Benu Akosa, you are an ungrateful person. Indeed, in three, they say, we are bonia ye. Because God has given you all the solutions. He's given you all the solutions. He's given you the brain to create the Ghana Health Service. He's given you all the professors at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. And yet, you are still praying to, to do what again? To bring angels down? Are you crazy? <laughs> Yes, are you crazy? What again should you do? After giving you all the scientists in Noguchi Memorial uh, uh, Institute, after giving you all the scientists in KCCI in Kumasi, what should you do again? If you can't use what exists, our scientific infrastructure, so if you can't use it, then you are not taking the manifestations of your God seriously. You are being ungrateful, and so on. Based on your own philosophy, not my philosophy. What is this craziness? In any case, any time our, our leaders have gathered and prayed, and prayed, the harder they pray, the more the disease increases, and they are still not thinking. Check the figures. Has it been coming down? The harder they fast, the more the disease. The more they pray, the more the disease. They are still not seeing the signs. My brother, there's a lot to be done. I don't know what is going to happen in this country next Monday. I have no idea what is going to happen in this country. I'm hearing some people who are closer to the authorities hmm, indicating that the lockdown may be extended. The president indicated that yesterday. That the lockdown may be extended. If the lockdown is going to be extended, fair and well. We were advocates of a complete lockdown. So we cannot be against the extension of the lockdown. But the lockdown by itself 
is not sufficient to fight against COVID-19. There are things that we must do. We must imagine that we can reach the point where this disease gets out of hand. If we reach that point, what are we going to do? And I've already said, mobilize the facilities of the schools. You understand? The schools begin to think about the deployment of tents. The hard village, the tents in the hard village, they can be deployed and so on. You understand? All these uh, mobile, mo movable toilets. There's so many movable toilets. All events organizers have movable toilets and so on. Mobilize them. You can mobilize. That is why the emergency law should have aimed at the mobilization of resources and so on. The Progressive People's Party, I've said this many times, I want to repeat it again. The Progressive People's Party has made a sensible suggestion. Water now is, is no longer a commodity which should be available only to those who can afford it. Water now must be socialized. Portable water must be socialized. People who do not pay their light bills don't go and cut off their water supply. Because water now is essential in the fight against COVID-19. Provide water to everybody. We must aim at providing water to everybody. And stop this.